Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry, I completely forgot to film an intro for the video. So here's a clip of me waving my hair back and forth thinking it looks cool and aesthetic, but it really doesn't as I'm watching it right now. But anyway, here's the intro. If you wanna see how I do my at-home DIY root smudge for my blonde hair, then just keep on watching. So all you'll need to do an at-home smudge root or shadow root to your hair you will need a bowl to mix things in, a brush with a pointy end, some gloves if you want to. We're not dealing with bleach, so it's not like a really big deal. If you don't wear gloves, I might not wear gloves, but just to keep your hands safe, you can wear gloves. Then you need 20 volume developer. You don't need this big of a bottle at all, but I just use, um, I use this for to bleach my hair also. So. I just bought a big bottle and then I personally use the Color Brilliance Intensive Shine Ion Demi, Demi Permanent Hair Color and it's the 5N, um, the shade Light Natural Brown. So it looks like that, that's the color if you can see. Um, so the Demi Permanent, the difference is that it's just not going to last forever. So I kind of bought this, I've actually... I've done this to my hair um, like a couple months ago when I originally had bleached my hair icy blonde. So I used like a little, like half of it. So I still have it from there, but I bought that, the Demi Permanent because I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out and I didn't want it to be, if it turned out like horrible, it was only Demi Permanent, so it wasn't gonna last forever. So if you're kind of afraid to do this to your hair, you don't want to mess it up, get the Demi Permanent. It's not as permanent as um, regular dye. So this will, you know, if you really hate how it turns out, you can really wash it out and stuff. But I only wash my hair about once a month, or once a month, oh lord, <laughs> once a week, so it's never a problem for me. Um, it lasted for a while whenever I had my hair um, done like that a couple months ago. So, to go ahead and get started, all you're going to need is, you can wear an old t-shirt. This is the t-shirt that I wore from my bleaching video, if you watch that. But I'm going to show you how I do this. And it's really simple. Um, definitely, it was super easy, and it's pretty quick. So, you know, if you don't like how, you know, if you have blonde everywhere, it almost looks like a wig. Because it's just so blonde, but, which is why I like the root, but I was just kind of like trying to see if I would like it like that and I just really like the root better. So you part your hair down the middle and then you're also going to take it back to the back just like that. So just like that. Okay so what you're going to do is there is about half the bottle left in this so I'm just going to go ahead and put half that in there and then you're going to do um, one part of this two parts of this. All right, now I have that all mixed in and it looks like that. All right, so first you're going to just go um, down the line of your, why can I not talk? You're gonna go down your part, your metal part and just go, I really just like a very subtle um, root smudge. So I'm not gonna go so far down, I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. Um, and so I just kind of do that and I will show you guys how to make it so you don't get, whenever it does grow out more, you are not going to just get, um, brown lines. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the balayage effect. All right, so just a little bit like that. All right, and then what you're going to do is, you typically want like your two front pieces to be like the most blonde. So you don't wanna bring that down far at all. So now what you're gonna do is pick up the front piece and start adding in right there.
And like I said, I like a very subtle smudge root. So if you're wanting more of a ombre effect, um, you could definitely like take it down further. I just don't like a super... deep smudge root. I also like to use a rat tooth comb for this um, just because that already has product in it. So this is how you're going to make it look the more ombre effect. So you're just going to take that there. and make vertical lines with the rest of the hair. And that is going to make sure that you aren't getting, you aren't going to have those prominent lines when your hair grows out. It's gonna grow in a gradient way and not a very harsh line. As you can tell, it's already turning. And you're basically just gonna do this the whole way through. So you're gonna take it all the way to the back. So I'm just gonna speed it up now. So this is all done. I wanted to show you that it's all saturated in the back. Um, and then also you want to do, make sure you get the bottom part here. So um, I think I did that when it wasn't filming. So all you have to do is basically just lift this up and just do just the bottom part. So it's the whole perimeter is saturated. Now I'm gonna leave this on for about 20 minutes and then I will wash it out, shampoo and condition and then I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all complete. All right, this is the final look. So as you can tell, it's a very subtle root smudge, which that's what I wanted. If you want it further down, obviously you can just take it down more um, you can see it's just very gradual, nothing crazy, but it makes the biggest difference. I'll show you the back. So that is how you get the root smudge or shadow root at home. I hope this video was helpful for you at home who are trying to get this yourselves. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!